hover at about two milliamps. Two milliamps average, and right on over here. 640 you're 640 about micro 640 micro so about a quarter of the power doing the exact same computation. power consumption right savings on. between those two devices. IPXs. Nordic Semiconductor is one of the hottest names in Bluetooth, Wi-Fi, cellular, satellite communication, now even power management. They've got a booth here at CES 2026, Las Vegas. You're gonna wanna come and check it out. But just to make sure, I've checked it out for you. Watch this full booth tour, because at the end, I'm even playing golf. It's super interactive. You're gonna wanna visit it. Let's go give it a shot. What have we got here? 54 series here, 52 series here. What are these graphs? Yeah, so uh, this is actually my favorite graph, honestly. So uh, these are PPKs attached to each one of these devices. Yep. As you said, so the 52A40 and the 54L15. Beautiful. This is running a mathematical computation. So the same yep. algorithm is running on both of these development mm -hmm. kits. And what you're seeing here is the time to do that calculation, that mathematical Much calculation. Much higher width than here. Absolutely, right? So it's significantly faster on the 54L15. You sleep longer. Yep. And the greatest thing that I love about it is on the 52840, you hover at about 2 milliamps. 2 milliamps average, and right on. Over here, 64, you're 640 about microamps. 640 microamps. So about a quarter of the power doing the exact same computation. power consumption right savings on. between those two devices. I know there's quite a few differences between the 54 series and the 52. One of the main ones being 54 is your Bluetooth 6. Right? Correct. Channel standing, supported. Very cool IC. But I didn't know how much power saving that you were getting for identical, actually better performance. Absolutely. So Wi-Fi audio, what chip is this running? What's going on here? Yeah, so this is running the uh, the 7002. So that yep. is a 2.4 and 5 gig hosted SOC. Mm -hmm. The host is the NRF uh, 5340. Yep. And what we've got here is our audio gateway. So this is actually connected to a PC via USB. Yep. And this is our audio gateway. And if you put these little headphones on here, you'll be able to hear the audio that's transmitted over Wi-Fi. I will verify this live on camera. From the gateway <laughs> to the audio headset. Yep. Brilliant. Very cool. We'll All right, that's the tracking. So what we're showing here is uh, Thingy World rocks. So any one of these devices that is turned on worldwide, yep. we are able to track its location. And what you'll see here on the screen is you have different implementations. So you have single cell implementations. Yep. You have multi-cell implementations. So that will give you the granularity of the location. So these thingies, they're quite a fantastic IC, aren't they? So this, this gray one we're seeing in the middle, that's a 9151, isn't it? Yeah, so we have, what's this uh, one? we have thingies, uh, thingy 91s, which is the 9160, and then we have this is your Wi Fi, isn't it? Xs, which have the uh, 9151 plus the Wi Fi plus the Bluetooth. Very cool. Yeah, absolutely. Where have we found Fritz? So this is using the thingy, and this is what's happening here. We've yeah, got... yeah, so uh, we clicked on Fritz, and yeah, you can absolutely zoom right in. So and... this is the location accuracy of it. Yeah, yeah. So, so what's the difference between this, this, and this? So uh, you'll see that uh, Wi-Fi in a congested in, uh, environment, you'll be able to do locationing via Wi-Fi. Yep. Uh, instead of using, say, like a single cell tower, right? So we think that Fritz is within this zone and Wi-Fi thinks he's actually over here, which fits within that single cell zone. Brilliant. So a little more granularity with Wi-Fi, single cell sort of gives you a bigger picture and then multi-cell sort of shrinks that in a little bit as well. Right on, very cool. Yeah. I think we should go play some golf. I think golf's a fantastic idea. Let's go play some golf. Let's go. What's going on here? Okay, so we've got the we've got the PCB here. Yep. We're using the NRF 54L. Yes. And we've got the PMIC as well. The MPM oh, the 2100. Beautiful. Okay. Yeah. Awesome. So with that, we've managed to get the life of the golf ball, the battery life, from seven and a half hours uh, uh, up to seven and a half years. So shall we shall we go back a little bit? What actually is this golf ball? So this uses a uh, tracker ball, and this tracks everything you do when you're inside the put track venue. It, it counts all of your hits, uh, it knows who you are. It gets dispensed, um, registered to you, <laughs> and that's right. And then you put it down on the tee, and away you go. Right on. Okay, shall we play some golf? Sure. Cool, lads. Get ready to witness greatness, all right? Is that true or false? It's true. Okay. <laughs> Don't know what to tell you. All right, let's see how we went over here. There's a lot of pressure here, you know. <laughs> you think you can do it? Oh yeah. You're a pro. 
Thank you very Pleasure. much. Thank you so much for watching the booth tour. I haven't even showed you everything. There's a lot still to discover here at the Nordic booth. 52039 is the number if you're here this year at CES. Really hope you enjoyed. I would rate it 52 out of 52. Enjoy.